Tesla is under scrutiny once again as pharmaceutical companies are being accused of hyping up a false pandemic. The Council of Europe is putting the virus on its winter agenda, which is now underway. The COE's head of health also claims the World Health Organization colluded with major drug companies and charged or changed the definition of pandemic. Dr. Wolfgang Vadarg says it ensured maximum profits but no risks for the firms. Now countries like Britain, France and Germany have stockpiles of vaccines lying unused as infections spread far less than the panic surrounding it. And now let's hear from Dr. Wolfgang Vadarg, who's in Strasbourg. Hello, Dr. Vadarg. What's your evidence that drug firms created a false alarm over swine flu? The WHO has installed a private-public partnership uh, with the pharmaceutical companies uh, some eight years ago. They started, and it seems that the pharmaceutical industry is very, uh, is, has very successfully influenced the work because they made a lot of profit with two false alarms of the WHO. First, it was the bird's flu alarm, which never happened. Bird's flu did not exist as a disease spread from one human being to the other. And the second now was the swine flu alarm, which was just a normal flu as we experience every year, even milder than most of the years. And nevertheless, they succeeded to make such a big marketing out of it, using scientists who were at their hand and using uh, our governments, impressing them that they made contracts uh, with marketing commitments, which cost us billions worldwide. Okay, now you implicate the World Health Organization in this, but even though swine flu hasn't spread as much as it was touted, it still fits the definition of pandemic. Is the WHO so wrong in this stance? Yes, the WHO had a definition of a pandemic, and a pandemic is something very special, which is a big morbidity with a, and a high mortality. And uh, this was in the de definition before, in 2004, 2005. You can read it in the WHO uh, websites and in the papers. And uh, this year, they suddenly dropped those two characteristics. They said nothing about the severeness of the disease, which is spreading, and they said nothing about uh, the mortality. Which is, uh, if, which is very uh, essential for such a definition. And as the WHO was at the trigger to give the alarm for all this which was prepared before, the WHO uh, is the institution which has the biggest responsibility in this uh, case. Well, the nature of a forecast is an educated guess. Isn't that better than being cautious and unprepared? I didn't understand this question, pardon. Could you repeat it, please? Yes, I said uh, the nature of a forecast is an educated guess. And is that better, in your opinion, than being cautious and unprepared? I think we have to, um, we have to see that uh, the WHO is uh, transparently working and that the, the interest between the public interest on one side and the economic interest are that they are separated. And we have to make recommendations. Our governments have to go to WHO and have to be in the World Health Assembly. They have to, to tell WHO how to work better and with higher quality in future. Okay, one last question, uh, Dr. Vadarg. What's the Council of Europe going to do to get answers from drugs firms on this? We try to investigate how this happened, how this false alarm happened twice, and we try to investigate uh, and to find out what uh, structures we need that we can start to rely on our institutions. It's not only the WHO, it's also the national institutions. Many of us, in many states, there were national institutions that just followed uh, what WHO said, and they too, they continued even telling us that there may be a second wave although some other institutions already had found out and had documented that, for instance, in Australia, where the winter is long over, there has been none, and there is no scientific evidence for a second wave, so they continue selling their drugs, and WHO helps them, and some national institutes do this too. And it is irresponsible, it's unresponsible, because people are vaccinated without and needlessly and it makes a damage to people. There may be side effects, and it costs a lot of money, but uh, I think the side effects and the giving children to vaccination, which is not necessary, when it's even not proved that the vaccinations of children help something, and the vaccines are not tested with children. So there's so many things happening, and WHO is just covering all this and saying this is a good thing. It's incredible what's happening. All right, well, thank you very much, Dr. Wolfgang Vadarg, who heads the Health Committee at the Council of Europe. Hopefully we'll find some answers to those questions.